Hi everyone, welcome to day one of my Halloween 2011 card series. I'm starting off with a uh, digital stamp from simplybettystamps.com and I'm going to cut her out so I'm tracing around my nestability because part of her is going to be omitted through the die. So I'm tracing the outside and I've traced the inside where her hat and the broom are. That's where those are the parts that are going to be kind of coming out of the circle. So I'm going to cut around here. Now the reason I trace the outside of the circle is because I don't want to cut into that except right where her hat is going to be. I'm going to cut a little bit around the circle there just to get some of that paper out of the way. And then I'm going to go straight in directly to her hat line and cut just past that other line that I drew uh, where the inside of the die was. Um, and this is just so I can slip my nestability behind her hat so it will cut the rest of the circle but not cut her hat. So I'm going to do the same thing here where her broom is. I'm just going to cut a little bit around the circle to maneuver my scissors in there and cut straight to the broom and then I'm going to cut out the broom as if I were cutting it out all the way um, and just past those little lines that I drew um, where the inside of the die hit again. So it's pretty simple. And then I am going to snip off this little piece just to get rid of it. It's not going to um, hurt my image or anything like that. So. I'm just going to pop that die behind the broom and her hat and around the rest of the image just like that. And then you can uh, tape it if you'd like but it's pretty snug I'm not worried about it moving so I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my cuddle bug. I've got my A plate, my B plate and then my my image there and the die face down. Sorry about the move in the camera. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to pop my C plate on top and just run it through and it will cut my little circle out. So this is just a quick tutorial. There are several other tutorials on YouTube of how to omit uh, parts of your image from your die but this is just a quick uh, show, show you how <laughs> to do that. So now I'm just taking that die off and you can see that the very very tip of her hat and the broom come out of the circle. I'm just going to erase those lines that I drew, my little guidelines, just to make clean everything up a little bit. I'm sorry for going out of the frame. <laughs> I forgot that I had moved my camera and so I had to fix it, but I'm still learning to remember where I'm at on the frame. I've never um, recorded myself making an entire card before so I have to remember but there's my girl and then um, I decided to use the Cosmo Cricut Matilda 6x6 paper pad and I decided I wanted the star paper that you see there to be my background and I cut another circle from this yellow paper and I'm kind of using the circles and the yellow to kind of imitate uh, a moon. I didn't end up coloring anything as a moon, but um, I wanted that. And then I um, liked this paper as well. It's kind of wonky um, waves. And so I decided to cut along this yellow line here so that I get one of each of the colors on my card. So I'm just going to cut along that and it's going to give me a cute little wave. And this is going to go right across my card. Um, I tend to do that quite a bit with my cards. I put a strip of paper across my card. And with this one I thought it would be fun just to do this little wonky wave rather than just a straight line. So I'm just going to cut that white part off. And that orange part is actually the end of the page. So. Um, I had to check and see if I wanted to go ahead and cut it, you know, as a wave or just leave it straight. And I did decide to go ahead and cut it 
so that it matched a little bit and the whole thing was kind of um, wavy. So I'm just freehanding that. There are little squiggly lines there to kind of guide me on where to cut. So I'm just cutting that out. And like I said, that'll go straight across my card. And then my yellow piece will go right on top of that. And my witch will go right on top of that. So I kind of do this a lot where when I'm making cards that I kind of um, just place it together before I adhere everything just to make sure that I'm liking how it's all coming together. Um, right now I'm going to cut the base of or my card front here to five and a quarter by five and a quarter. My card base is going to be five and a half square so I want it a quarter of an inch smaller than that so that I get a nice edge along my card. So there's that. And then I'm going to adhere that wavy strip down to that piece. Sorry for getting out of the frame again. Just going to adhere that down and then cut off the excess that hangs over the side. Just real simple layout today. And I, I forgot to mention, I did um, color my image with Prismacolor pencils and Gamsol. Um, I didn't film that part because it's pretty time consuming and I haven't quite figured out how to fast forward things with my editing software yet. So it would have taken way too long to record all of that. Um, but I did, I did color her with my Prismacolor pencils. So I'm just adhering that circle down and I'm going to pop this the bigger circle up on dimensionals just to give the card a little uh, dimension. Um, I've got this foam tape I'm just going to cut it into strips because I'm running low on it so I want to kind of conserve as much as I can. So I'm just going to put these little pieces down and I'm not going to take the backs of them off yet. Um, because I want to add some twine to my card and I've decided I'm going to use some black and white baker's twine. This is from thetwinery.com and so I'm going to get that. I'm just kind of fumbling with it off screen. You can't really see it um, but I'm just fumbling with it and I'm, I'm gonna cut my piece that I need. I'm going to wrap it around twice and then tie a bow. That's kind of what I normally do two or three times. Um, I wrap it and then I tie a bow. I went ahead and sewed around the edge of my card off screen as well. Um, it just gives it a nice little uh, detail around the edge so it's not quite so plain. And there are some threads that will appear on top of your card and in order to hide those you can pull them through the back and then tape them down. Right now I'm kind of fiddling with it. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get a hold of the thread um, that you need and pull it through the back. But So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of fiddling with it a little bit. <laughs> um, I'll get it here in a minute though. There we go. And then I'm just going to grab some really strong adhesive, just a little bit of it, and tape those down so they don't go anywhere and that my card, the stitching doesn't come unraveled or anything like that. It just keeps them down. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my twine. Again, like I said, I'm going to wrap it around twice and then tie a bow. And my hand is going to be in the way <laughs> for a lot of this part because, again, I'm not used to filming myself make a card, so I, I just haven't quite figured out, you know, I haven't got the mindset while I'm making the card that I need to stay on screen and not block the camera and whatnot, but I'm getting there, so hopefully I'll get better. So I'm just adjusting my bow here a little bit and then I'm going to cut off that longer tail there and then scooch my bow over to the side because it was in the middle there. 
And then I'm ready to add my image and I'm just going to take the little backs off of my foam dots and then place it right in the middle of my card. And I'm going to lift up that bow and kind of tuck it underneath there a little bit too. And that helps the bow to stand out a little bit better too. There's that. Just adjusting my strings a little bit there on the other side. And I'm just kind of looking at it to see what else I think it needs. And I decided to go ahead and add a sentiment. So uh, I grabbed this paper from the Echo Park Apothecary Emporium. This is from the 12 by 12 um, paper. And there's all these little tags and whatnot on this page, so I decided to use this little um, frame. And I'm using a stamp from Amy R's Ghostly Greetings stamp set, and it says, Witching You a Happy Halloween. I'm just inking it up and stamping it right in the middle of that little label there. And then I'll go ahead and um, cut that out. And put that on my card. I'm just leaving a little small black border around the entire thing. And then I'll pop that up on foam tape as well, just so that it's even with the rest of my with my other image. I had to find my foam tape. <laughs> Alright. So that's the front of my card. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my card base. Uh, for my card base, I chose a purple uh, card stock and I've cut it down so that when it's folded in half, it will be five and a half by five and a half. I'm using ATG on the edges of my card. And then over the twine, I'm going to use some more of that super strong adhesive. Uh, just to make sure that that doesn't interfere with my card staying down or anything like that. So the stuff is super strong and once you put it down, it's not coming up without completely mutilating your card. So pretty confident that my card will stay together nicely with that there. So now, um, again, there's going to be a small purple border around the perimeter of my card. Just kind of gives it a nice finished look to it. And now for the inside, I've chosen another paper from the Matilda collection, and it's just this uh, cute little spooky scene with the dark sky and the cute little moon up the top. I'm just going to put that straight down there. Nothing too fancy on the inside of this card. Just keeping it simple this time. And then I've grabbed another paper that I cut with my nestabilities and this is one of the orange papers and I'm going to be stamping again with my Amy R Ghostly Greetings set. I'm going to stamp Happy Halloween. So I'm stamping the Halloween first because it's the larger of the stamps. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp that first. I'm a little bit off camera again. I apologize. Um, so there's my Halloween and then I will grab my Happy and I will adhere that. I need to trim this a little bit better so that I can kind of get a better feel for where it's going to stamp or use a stamp on jig because I did stamp it a little bit high, but it still looks cute. So there's my Happy Halloween. I decided for this particular piece for the little waves in it to go uh, vertically because there were other, the scallops and whatnot in this paper in the background were going horizontal, so I wanted to kind of contrast that. But there's my little, there's the inside of my card, and there's the outside again. And then I decided to go back and add some diamond stickles to her hat, uh, just to give her a little bit of bling. And diamond stickles and icicle stickles are my usually my go-to colors for stickles. I really, really like those two. And this one happens to be running out a little bit, so you can see I'm squeezing it pretty hard. Um, and at first when I was starting to glitter it, I was going to go around the stars that are in her hat. 
and later on you'll see I changed my mind and decided to just go over the entire thing. So for right now I'm kind of trying to go around them and be a little more careful but um, once I get to her brim I decided it's going to be kind of a pain to get around all the little stars so I just decided to go ahead and go over the whole thing and that way her stars and her hats everything is just cute and glittery. So I'm going to come back up here and <laughs> fill in those spaces that I didn't glitter up just really quickly and then go back to her brim. And I even did the underneath side of, her, of the brim of her hat as well. So the whole thing is cute and glittery. So there is the finished card. All stickled up and cute. And um, I thank you guys for watching. And if you would like to see more photos or any more information, you can go check out my blog at scrappyhour09.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.